And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, I am still on the sumo challenge. I am still making my first original bot. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit bigger here and there. It's actually pretty cool. I greatly uh, enjoy the look of this bot so far. And we do have a little bit more to go on it. We need to put some of the weapons on it. Uh, not too much before we can actually fight with this guy. Uh, hopefully on this episode, we will put him to the test and see how well he, did, he does for us. Uh, I think he's going to do fairly well. Uh, I think we, we can uh, handle uh, maybe a, a few different types of bots out there uh, fairly decently. So we're going to put these things down, get all these weapons in place. We do uh, still have a few uh, thrusters we can throw on there, uh, some wheels that we can throw on as well. Let's see, where can we put these things? Uh, anywhere? Anywhere at all? No? Not really. We do have a few spots in here. We could do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. Because this is going to shoot right down the, the center at the bad guys. And we'll put these in here as well if we can. Nope, we can put them on the side though. And like I said, when they bust through and start doing damage to our bot, that's uh, definitely going to come into play there. What about these these tractor pads? They're not tractor pads, these uh, bulldozer pieces. Oh, we can put those in there. Gives us a little bit extra protection. What about... I guess we can move this guy up here, and that way we can fit one more in there. Can we not fit him in there? Huh. What if we move this guy up here? Move you over? Can we fit you in there? Yeah, we can fit you in there now. So they take up a little bit more space than I first, uh, first thought. And, of course, this is making the front even more heavy. But overall, I think we're going to be fine. How are we going to do this? We can put these things down. I need to know how many more we got so I can plan out where they need to go. So four more? Okay, that's going to be fine. What about weapons? What are we going to do with the weapons? I don't know on this one, guys. This one's going to be tricky because we're not going to be able to use most of these weapons uh, until he busts through part of our bot. And by then, it might be too late. Like, he may have the advantage. But uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely try our hand at creating the best, you know, design that we can go with. And again, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with and maybe trying out some of your designs. Because some of you guys out there play this game a lot more than I do and you keep up with the news a lot more than I do. I'm lucky if I get to play this, uh, you know, a few times a week, uh, especially lately that uh, work has just been slamming me. And some of you may have noticed that my episodes haven't been coming out nearly as much as they used to. Uh, it's not that I'm stopping, not even close as soon as a new computer comes in. I'm taking a little bit of time off, and uh, we're definitely going to be uh, doing a lot more of these videos uh, when that happens. But until then, uh, you know, I'm just trying to keep up with, uh, with some of them because I had, uh, you know, I had stretched my computer to the limit, basically, that I could only do about seven videos a day. And so I was like, well, if seven videos a day is all I can do, then seven videos a day is what I'll do. Uh, never mind the fact that I still have to sleep and I still have to work and I still have to do other things. So, uh, yeah, I kind of over exceeded my grasp with this computer and I'm kind of paying for it here and there now that uh, it's dying on me. So, not forgetting your uh, your uh, series, you know, I'm not forgetting uh, the Craft the World. I just have not had time to, uh, to sit there and do those uh, recently. So, we will get back to those as soon as the computer comes in and and do a whole bunch of stuff there with that. Uh, what can we do with this? Put that underneath. What about these guys? Maybe over here on the side? Actually, yeah, the side would be good. I don't know how that's going to work with thrusters. Like, is that going to shoot me forward or is that going to shoot me up? I hope it's not going to shoot me up. That would be not the greatest idea to, to be sure of. Wow, there's a lot of these thrusters. I would not expect it so many of those suckers let's go ahead and put these in fact why don't we put this up here and these down here i don't think i can go back one more no i can't go back one more so we'll go all the way back with these that way they're nice and protected and then i'll put weapons over here on this side and weapons over here on this side yeah that's gonna be nice what about doing hmm no i think that's gonna be fine right there where it's at Okay, so what else do we have? We have a few of these guys. Just one, actually. 
we have wheels, and we have some some bulldozing parts. Hmm, where are we going to put that? Where are we going to put that? We'll move these up, I think. Yeah, we'll move those up. Come on. There we go. Oh, you know what? I just noticed you can have some parts on this thing right here. So let's do that. I don't think it's really going to add that much protection to it. But, uh, you know, it's kind of cool looking that you can even do that. Yeah, I think it is all the way up. Yeah. Let's do that where it's all the way up. It's going to add weight to it, though. That's the only only downside that I can see to it at the moment. This thing is so front heavy. We need to add some stuff to the back. Let me see. Can we add any wheels back here? Just one? To the very back of the bot? We can't, can we? No, but we can add wheels down here on the bottom. So let me go ahead and drag those over here. This will uh, hopefully even out the weight a little bit more than it is right now. I'm going to use the big ones first. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all the little ones. I don't think we're going to have enough spots on this guy uh, down here on the bottom to actually stick everything that we want. Can we put that there? Yeah, we can put that there. How about this? A little bit up here. Another one in there, maybe? Uh, it's, it's sticking to something in there. Let's keep doing that. One more. Okay, so we got a few more. We can we can do the little ones. Let's see. How many little ones are we going to get? Just a couple. Probably. Yeah, just... No, nope, even more. Okay, come on, give it to me. I, you know, it would be really nice if the programmers ever watch these and, uh, you know, they want to help people out. Put a number over the item so people will know how many are left, how many they get to begin with. It will help them design a better bot than just picking stuff up and throwing it on the ground to see how many they get. Because there's nothing suckier than being like, oh, okay, I'll use this here. And then uh, grabbing it and be like, okay, I'll put some over here and I'll put some over here. Only to find out you don't have enough because uh, it stops at like eight. You know, like that kind of sucks. That's, that's not what you want when you're designing a bot to run out of the pieces uh, you're, you're using. Uh, simply because you didn't know how many were going to be there. And that will lead you to basically uh, grab stuff and just throw it on for the sake of throwing it on. And... You know, just so you can see how much you have left. And I don't think that's what they meant. Otherwise, it's going to cause a lot of lag and just uh, not be very, you know, uh, easy to, to work. And I know they want to make their game uh, highly enjoyable. And that's kind of going to limit it to, to some extent. Let's put that there. Did we put every friggin' weapon on here? I think we did, guys. We used every block that we had here. Still front heavy. Yeah, we're still very front heavy. But I think enough that maybe we can get away with it. We might not have all the traction in the world in the back. And what I could do actually is put one of my big wheels in the front. But I kind of like the front being heavy because it pushes it further down. And the further down it goes, the more the stuff that I have on the top goes down with it. And then it actually becomes usable. So let's go ahead and take a picture. And we are going to call this AC Gamer. It's going to get my name, guys. AC Gamer, if we can do... They won't let us do that, huh? Well, it would just be AC Gamer, then. He's going to put the little little uh, dash in there, but it won't let me. AC Gamer, Mark 1. If you guys see a Mark 3 or Mark 4, you probably want to run in the other direction. Let's go with this one, guys. Tweet this. We're going to go ahead and tweet it. Tweet, 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 tweet. Calling all tweets. There we go. It's going out, guys. Now, we're going to go ahead and exit out. New sumo challenge. AC Gamer. Uh, why is it marked as N? I guess uh, that's not the right one, is it? No, that's not. We need to select the one we want. There we go. That's ours. Woo, baby. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to go ahead and fight this. Yes. Okay, now who are we going to fight, guys? This will be the uh, the deciding factor. Which bot do we get? I do like how he did this one. Now that I've actually done it once, I can kind of look at what other bots have done and understand why they did what they did because they're working with just a few pieces that they have available to them. 
Um, hmm. This is kind of, the punch phase was kind of what I was trying to do earlier. I like that, but I don't know how well we'll do against that. Because we really need to charge, and this is going to... This is going to tie us up while his weapons just destroy us. Uh, Destroyer looks kind of cool. I don't know why he put stuff on the back that's kind of pointless since everybody just kind of runs into one another. And the Penetrator looks pretty wicked, actually. But I think I'm going to go with the easiest one to start with, and we'll go a little bit more difficult in uh, as time progresses and maybe see if we can try some of the harder ones. Because I don't want our first match just to get completely annihilated. Like, that's probably what's going to happen anyways, but we're, we're going to do the best that we can. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. No. Die. Oh, my God. We're going to win this one. Holy crap, guys. We actually won that one. Woo, yeah. Number four. We are number four. Come on. Give me a good one. Deathbringer. Hmm. I don't know if that's a reference to Babylon 5 or not, but... Uh, it could be. Uh, that's a good. Uh, that was a good episode. I like that one quite a bit. Uh, what about this one over here, Bob? Bob Drew Shrew. Yeah, we're gonna try that one, Bob. We're gonna see how well we stack up to yours. Hopefully, uh, we still win this one. We're a freaking huge bot compared to yours, but uh, you just never know. Yeah, baby. Oh no, 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 no! Come on, get him out. Yeah. Woo! Yes, we're coming into our own, guys. We are rank number five. Number five. Let's see if we can get him. Up to like uh, rank 10 and just stop there. Or Dan does HD. I think we've seen that one around. What about Deathbringer? Mm, I like the name. Ooh. Dash for Rick. I guess we'll try that one. Doesn't really have a lot of weapons on his. I think he probably just threw it together to see what what is going to happen when he uh, went into this. And he hasn't gone back to redesign this one. Doesn't really need to. It's a nice experience for anybody who wants to just completely uh, annihilate it. Maybe that's why he left it in there. Let's see. What else do we got going on? Ooh, the Murderer 2. That looks pretty cool. I think we're going to go with that, guys. We haven't seen one that goes up before. They're usually very concentrated down here on the bottom. I wonder how that's going to play out. Will he tip over fairly easy or... Or what? Oh, wow. I'm, like, completely frozen there. He did not like loading up into that one. Come on. Oh, look at that. My mortars are completely firing right over the enemy. They are too far up. They need to be a lot further back. Uh, so that's something I can definitely fix in the Mach 2 version. And because his weapons were so high, they were actually hitting my bot way in the back. And you can see just a few more seconds, and I would have gotten annihilated there. So, yeah, I am learning a few things as we progress. Uh, what does that la 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 la? I like, what is that? That is just gibberish that he, uh, pushed down, kind of like what I do. Now, this, uh, this little bot right here that's going to take off, that is a cool design, but you're not going to win that way because you defeated somebody. You're going to win that way mainly because the other guy misses you. Like, you take off, and you, the other guy just goes right underneath you. And there's no way I can stop my guy. I don't have brakes, so unless I don't have boosters on my guy... Uh, this bot's going to win every single time. Otherwise, if I had no boosters, this bot would get destroyed. You will die today. That looks pretty wicked. I like the fact that he put the wheels in the back like that. It almost looks like a like a death car from like some Armageddon movie or something. We're going with that one. We probably will die today, but we're, we're still going to go with that. Okay, guys. Holy crap. Yeah, we're going to die. We're going to die. I think his... Is okay, if we push him out, maybe... Oh, wow. I don't know. I think we might have to do this again without pushing people out and see if maybe we can defeat them. Uncle Murderbot or Uncle Murderbot or Uncle Murderbot, maybe? Maybe? Just maybe? Uh, this guy looks like he knew what, knew what he was doing. He put... Oh, yeah. Another one of these. You know, in games like this, you always have, like, the, the chasers and then you have the ones that are made to be chased. And that's kind of what these things remind me of is the ones that you just can't catch. They're the ones that are very, very specifically designed for certain bots, and they suck at everything else. But versus those those bots that are usually the superior ones that just push people off the map, these things will win every single time. And if everybody uses those other ones, these guys become the ones that win. So you have to do a combination of the two. 
And so, th therefore, these guys on the right don't usually win very long. They get close to the end, but somebody usually will create a bot that's good enough without thrusters to just annihilate these guys or let them jump out of the ring and lose all by themselves. So, we are going to go with Uncle Murderbot and see just how well my guy holds up against that. Come on, baby. Let's see how well we do. Oh, I like the back. You see on the back right there where he put his thrusters. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. 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 Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. Push him. Push him. Oh, can we do it? Can we do it? No, we're not going to do it. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. We won that one, guys. Holy crap. I was not expecting that one. I thought there for a second we were going to lose. And I bet you if it had gone just a tad bit in the other guy's favor, we probably would have because he was pushing us out to start with. But I think we got a few really good shots. And because of that, we actually ended up winning. Okay, contestant not found. So this guy is number one. We're going to lose against this guy. He's going to take off too quickly, and we're not going to be able to hit him. And I can't slow my guy down. So this will probably be the it, the, the end of it right here. Unless I can I can hit the brakes or something. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's it right there, guys. That is what he was hoping for. And he actually doesn't go straight out. He just goes straight up and then comes right back down. Hmm. There has to be a way to defeat that. And he is the king. Oh, man. He is the king. That sucks. We might have to decide to try a bot like that. I, I've, I've always kind of wanted to create a rocket in the actual game. I've been kind of hoping and and waiting to do that on one of my let's plays because I think that will be really really cool to do but we could try it in here and maybe work out some of the kinks uh, so let me know what you guys think I think this is uh, pretty cool uh, I like the idea of this I really wish you could actually pick the people you want to play with though uh, and incorporate them into it because it would be really cool to be able to play with some of you guys I know they're working on that aspect I know eventually they're gonna put that in there uh, but until they do I can kinda only do uh, but to dream about it and once we can do this together, guys, that's going to open up. Uh, I mean, we're going to do this probably streaming. And so you guys uh, who are waiting your turn to play can watch how everybody else is doing and maybe, like, fix your design and incorporate it to, like, whoop my butt or something like that if I'm doing really well. Or maybe I'll have you guys fight one another while I, like, commentate and watch over it. Uh, I think it might be kind of cool to see, like, who's the best one out there for designing bots because I'm pretty sure I'm not the, the top dog in that, in that field. But one of you guys might be. And if you guys want to try your hand at one another, I think that's going to be really, really cool. But again, guys, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy these episodes, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe definitely helps grow the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave those comments down below. And I will catch you all next time.